All I have in this world is my balls and my word. And I don't break them for no one. Do you understand? Gay Legends, Cast Chronicles. All right, so we're back with another video, and I'm going to answer someone's question, and that person is the Omen 710 says at the 9 minute and 43 second mark on the why people don't mess with the Kuri's video, this is the realest thing I've heard said on one of these prison TV channels. It's because of the P2P meth. He is so right. So... What he's saying is like in that video, I made a little remark about how bad it is in prison at the moment. And um, yeah, it's mainly because of the meth. And so I'm going to take a moment just to tell you guys how crazy it is in prison, like with the meth and, and some of the situations that we were in and why for this exact reason, it's not safe for anyone to be there. So um, yeah, Oh, what, what I will say is that, you know, there isn't many times in any prisons that there isn't some prison officer bringing in some kind of contraband of some description and especially at private prisons like Port Phillip and Fulham. Um, and now we've got another private prison in Victoria, which is uh, Ravenhall, and I believe maybe another one. I'm not too sure on that. I haven't been back to jail for nearly three years now, so I don't know. And in that time, there has been a few jails come up. But anyway, there isn't, you know, many times where you can be doing a jail sentence where there isn't screws doing the wrong thing. And um, so, you know, I'll, I'll use, for example, you know, when I was in, like um, the Scarb units, um, Scarborough North and South are, are, you know, what people will say are the worst two units at Port Phillip and a lot of stuff went on in those places. Now, keep in mind, I also have said to you guys that there was no video cameras inside the units, so there was no cameras at Port Phillip until 2018 and um, so every single yard had one camera in it at the yard but no cameras in the unit and for this reason you know it was very easy for for screws to do the wrong thing because no one was watching them and um so i can talk of times where i have literally seen with my own eyes an officer come through and drop off um four ounces of meth and um like if you think about it that's that's a lot of it's, drugs to have on the outside so when you're in prison that's like a mammoth amount to had have and it just goes to show how much of this stuff you can move inside the prison system and how many people want it so keep in mind i said there's that amount of prison right so that would get to that prison and then it would to that unit and then it would just get dispensed throughout the whole jail you know, that, there would be people in every single yard and it gets sent out to, to everyone who they know can can move this stuff in jail. And the stuff goes like hotcakes and 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 will go just as quick as it does on, on the outside. And um, you're thinking, how, how, how are people doing this? So people are just ringing up their, their family and they're getting them to fill other people's accounts like it used to be TAB accounts. I don't know how they do it now. Maybe banks, if they do that, they're stupid. But, you know... And then once that person realizes that the money's in the account, bang, you get your 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 drugs. But um, you know, I can remember times when I was at Port Phillip. Now I've spoke of when I was at Port Phillip, I used to like go very hard on the suboxone, the bupe they call it in jail, or the chicken, the chicken soup is what they why they call it the chicken. Chicken soup rhymes with bupe. Anyway, moving on. But I used to go pretty hard on that. And I can remember times where I would walk out of like my unit and I would be 15 steps out of my unit before I was offered by three different people if I wanted to buy some meth, some ice, you know. And I'd be like, no, nah, I don't want none of that bullshit, man. I want some Suboxone. Where is the Suboxone? And I'm telling you, there were times where it was so hard to – to go out and get that suboxone, which 90% of is coming from inside the prison system. You know, people that are on the bup in the jail, they get their dose and get it out. And and there were just times where where you could not go anywhere in the prison and find bup, but you would literally walk out of your 
out of your unit and walk to the fence to talk to somebody and somebody will have put half a, half a gram or a gram in your pocket and said, fix me up later. Like that's what it was like. You know, if you were in the know and you were, were somebody, that's how it works. You know what I mean? You would literally walk past people. They would shake your hand, bang. Next thing you know, you've got a handful of drugs, not have to pay for them. And um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's very, very serious. But like, I also need you guys to realize what's going on when this is happening. So for, Everyone knows when when that they when these drugs are coming into the prison. Like the whole prison wants it, and like I've said, you know, up to 90 percent of most prisons are taking some kind of drug every single day, whether it be during the day to get through the day, or at night time to sleep. You know what I mean? There's a very big. Um, a lot of people take psych medications like um, Seroquel and Avanza and stuff like that. To, to sleep when they're not prescribed it that's another video i'll do but anyway like it's very very bad and like like every single person gets on it and and it just turns into like a shit a shit fight every single time so let's say out of a whole yard that might have two different units in it and got 250 300 blokes in there um, or, or let's say 200 people and probably not even that much, but let's, all right, let's say 150 people in it. And let's say out of that 150 people, at least 110 of them are getting on that meth when it comes in. And then, so the next few days are like so hectic because everyone gets paranoid. Everyone thinks, oh, so-and-so is going to come and take me out or the screws are coming to get me and like everyone gets paranoid. Oh, he lagged me for this or he snitched on me for this and it is just putrid and you just see people like literally getting taken out willy-nilly just because people are wigging out on the meth and, and like the big weapons come out and people are literally getting filleted you know, and and people have lost their life because of this. I've made videos on this before and it's a very, very serious issue and and I don't think anyone you couldn't explain it unless you've actually seen it. And I, I make note of this in so many videos. There's such a dense population of people that use drugs in the one place. It's like something you've never seen before. And when you know, you've got most yards are connected to another yard and sometimes even two or three yards. So you can literally see hundreds of people all wigging out off their face on ice. And have I been one of these people that has done this in prison? Yes, I have. Not very many times, but I have done it. And um, as a matter of fact, I drew this eagle once. One night someone gave me some. I wished I never took it. But anyway, I drew this eagle and it was insane. But anyway, moving on. It's a very, very serious problem and this is exactly why it is not safe for anybody in these scenarios because when you've got screws that are compromised, you know, over, over you know, a very little amount of money, that same officer will be compromised for big amounts of money and with big amounts of money when screws are doing the wrong thing, it's very scary because... That is why it is not safe. When you've got screws that are willing to set you up and, and willing to lose their job and, and willing to set you up so you can get stabbed, that's when you know you're in a real environment when the people that you think are going to be there to help you when something bad happens, when the actual reality is these officers are the motherfuckers that are causing a lot of these things to happen. And um, like, I, I won't say names, but I'll, I'll say there, there, and there is a lot of people in here that, that watch my videos and have done prison in the Vic prison system and, and know what I'm talking about when I don't say names, but there was this very well-known scenario where, so at Port Phillip, they've got airlocks, right? Which means you walk in one door, and then that door has to close before the other door will open. And so like every unit has an airlock. So like it's like a little square room. And so like sometimes the, the door closes or the airlock closes and you're locked in there with five blokes, ten blokes sometimes, you know what I mean? And on this one occasion in Scarborough South, this one guy got caught in the airlock with three people who it was alleged that were his co-offenders and he had snitched on them in court or whatnot. And then so for whatever reason, 
they they waited and bided their time till they were going to do something, and so they waited until that back door closed in the airlock, which has to get done by the screws. The screws have to be looking at you when they do this so they can see both doors closed before they open one door, the the door to the outside. So the screws 100% knew about this, that this was going to happen. Now, this guy nearly lost his life. I believe he was stabbed like 40-something times by three different people and it, it, this guy nearly lost his life over that. Now, I, I believe this guy has lost his life from an overdose on the outside now. People say that's suspicious or whatnot. It's not my place to say. But, you know, this is exactly why is it is a place where you don't want to be. And see, the thing is, I was actually talking to somebody about this yesterday. The thing is, people think because they've gone to jail or prison, whatever you want to call it, and they've gone to somewhere like, I'll use our B rating jails like Loddon, somewhere like that, or 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 like um, like Ravenhall or something like that, and they think that they're doing hard jail, and then and then the time comes where they do something wrong in these these prisons, and they get sent to somewhere like Port Phillip Prison or HMP Prison Barwon. Um, so, you know, and there there is where you will find out whether you are a real one or not. And when you when you know that that people are losing their life and people are getting stabbed on the absolute daily, people are literally literally carrying around swords on them, you will know that that is a place where you don't want to be. And I can't even reiterate enough that that jail is more crazy now than it was back in the seventies and eighties in Pentridge where people were losing their life on the on the you know on the on the regular. This is this is like now. It's like if you ask me, I I believe like they done a royal commission into the private prison system in Queensland, and one hundred million percent the same thing has to happen here in Victoria. And like the the thing is like a lot of people won't speak out about it. I'll speak out about it. I'll never give names or nothing like that. But I'm willing to unearth a corrupt system where where my fellow prisoners are getting unalived because corrupt screws are, are allowing this to happen like fuck that not not on my fucking watch you know what i mean if i can help 100 percent, i will help but yeah i'll never give names or anything like that it's against my it's against my being but um there you go folks that's that's like one of the main reasons i can't reiterate enough why you do not want to be in prison right now it is an absolute shit fight and people are losing their life because you know, people are staying awake for weeks and weeks on end inside prison and, yeah, it's an absolute shit fight. So you don't want to be there. Don't do drugs and crime and you won't end up in prison and you won't get stabbed by a meth head in prison. It's as simple as that and that's the reality you're in. All right, I've been the Chaos Chronicles. You guys have been awesome. We I am also the guy who decides if you and your friends walk out of here or not. <laughs>